Okay, give me the other half. Let me see it. Oh, well, give me the other half you got. Ew. That's it. And there you have it. This is the yard after a lot of intensive labor. I am telling you, this is the truth to gardening. A lot of times people show you the beauty of gardening, all the green, beautiful growth. They don't show you the actual work that it takes to maintain it. And guys, this is just to clean up. I haven't filled in the bed yet. I haven't planted anything yet. So this is just the cleanup after summer. And there it is. That corner right there, that was the Mosquito Motel. So once everything is cleaned up, I have to tackle this part. Got to get in there and start moving things around and moving everything out of this damp corner. So hopefully it'll dry up and no more mosquitoes because this area is already shaded enough. Then on top of that, I was constantly keeping it watered um, for my plants back here. So yes it was a mosquito fest so hopefully this helps it once we moved it as you can see here this is a lot of work because 
it has soil in it already it's very heavy plywood then on top of that it's mushy soil so we have to take out some planks and start shimming it through i'm glad we thought of this because there's no way in the world we could have lift this Okay, after some intensive cleaning, my back hurts really, really bad, but I am too OCD to not sweep this yard and make it super clean. So I'm going in with the rake because a broom will not do for this. So and since these are all organic matter, I just sweep everything up and then I brush it under the tree uh, to act as a mulch for the winter. So this is pretty much what I do. I keep collecting the leaves and whatever falls into my yard and I put it under the tree trunk. Um, I'm doing the same, but except on the concrete, I sweep it off into the yard and then I collect it afterwards. You know what's going through my mind probably right now? I'm probably looking at my yard and being mesmerized by it. And also I'm imagining how glorious it would feel if I could just take a shower. But to be fair, it's been a hundred plus here for the last, I don't know how many months. So it finally went down to the low 90s. So I had to take this opportunity to clean my yard because if I wait, and if the temperature get any hotter or get super rainy, then I'm just gonna have to sit there and watch my yard grow even more. And it's gonna be like super Jumanji. And then the mosquitoes are probably gonna grow to the size of dinosaurs. I know I'm being a little exaggerative, but I'm telling you the amount of time I've been stung by these little bad boys, they're just, they're invincible. There's nothing to kill them. I have tried everything under the sun. There's nothing to kill them or prevent them. They just attack you no matter what. And keep in mind guys, back then when I was back in the East Coast, I was never bitten. They never touched me. But here in Texas, they don't dis uh, discriminate. They attack everybody. They just eat you up alive. Okay, I'll get off my mosquito soapbox. Let's get back to the gardening. Of course, more sweeping. It's just I sweep, 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 and then I sweep some more. Because you know why? Because I am OCD, and every single little piece of debris has to go. And after two days of back breaking work, this is the final result. I have moved everything out of the mosquito area up to the front here. It's easier to maintain and I don't have to water the back end anymore. Look how nice and organized it is now. It doesn't even look like Jumanji anymore. I cannot wait until next week where I get uh, more soil and um, I put it in the pot and then I start planting I know I'm a little late with planting but you know what it's all in the fun of planting is at the end of the day how much of this am I really eating I end up giving most of it away anyways as you can see all those little uh, fruit looking thing on the bed that's all um, leftover cucumbers um, yeah <laughs> 
anyways this is me enjoying my yard after all that hard work and if you enjoy my content make sure you hit that like button and also that subscribe button for future content also make sure you leave a comment down below to share your thoughts all right thank you for watching have a good one bye